Partner, the old rules about not fielding punts inside your own tent, those things are way out the window, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they say well, put your heels on the 10-yard line, but when you return it, maybe your coach doesn't say anything to you, right? Yeah, I think a lot of special teams coach, if they've got a special guy, they'll say, yeah, okay, you can go to the 8, but this one, he really had some guts. So after surrendering the punt return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Oh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, if something like that, we have to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. That one into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and this is picked up by the Dolphins. And this is brought all the way back. A fumble recovery and taken to the house for a Miami touchdown. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score, and a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. We'll be singing in the shower post game. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Heading back out there, Jalen Samuels. Looking for a bounce back. Had the fumble a moment ago that went for a touchdown the other direction. See if he can get back in rhythm. And you have to be very careful about having too quick of a hook with really good players. I did a guy's game in high school where he fumbled three times in the first quarter, finished with over 300 yards on the night, later ended up in the NFL. If you got a talented back, give it back to him. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, you're under pressure and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Twenty-one to three is your score after one. Here's Jordan Berry now. Remember, his first attempt was returned for a touchdown. It's taken at the twenty-six. Twenty-one yards. Well done on the return, and that will come the offense as they take over. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well, and he's been right. Now the pass hauled in by Kenny Stills. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Drake. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's second and eight. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And some room to work. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. 
Mike Gesicki, his sixth touchdown of the season. But the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. That drive was quick and impressive. Almost like they had somewhere else they needed to be after the game. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good. And a route is on here in this first half. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Heading back out there, Jalen Samuels. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll start the drive with Samuels. And the tackle there will go to Charles Harris. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. And the Steelers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third down and 12. To throw here, Roethlisberger. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Jerome Baker right there in coverage. That's looking like another three and out here. And at some point, you've got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit. And we're not even at halftime. Fielded at the 20. Now a hit and a loose football. And maybe getting a little too cute there on the punt yeah. return. Sometimes they forget Paramount holding on to that football. I really do believe most of the return guys think to themselves, when I get the ball, I'm going to make the play that's going to change the game. I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it. And you love that they have that attitude, but your point is so well taken. What do you have to do? First and foremost, hold on to it. Take care of the football. That's all he needed to do. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. Any weapon. They'll run on first down. It's Drake. There he goes, left side. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Kenyon Drake, his second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season as his guys continue to pour it on. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one clinic and that's what they've done they lead the league in points per game this season but it's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drive i think they're actually intimidating defenses because they're back on their heels right away wondering where it's going to come from how they're going to hit them this group is well organized well coached and extremely confident in what they do sanders on for the Extra point. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the route is on here in this first half. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. 
This will be fielded at the eight. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? One thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. On third down, Roethlisberger. And that's going to be intercepted by the pro bowler, Xavier Howard. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Now remember, this is the number one defense in the National Football League. There's a good example of why. Shows that they set an aggressive tone, not just stopping the run, not just getting after the quarterback, but the ball's in the air. They treat it like they're the receivers, and they went after that one and took it all the way. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the route is on here in this first half. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning there for a touchdown, this offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it. I like that because now it doesn't give them a chance to go to the bench and really settle, you know, to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there, it's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over. Let's see if they can get the ball moving again. Yeah, we'll see if they can do it here. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. And oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. On first and 10, Jack. He gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Devontae Parker with touchdown number seven on the year as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move, and when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. This fielded at the two. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. 
The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many. And he loses the football a second time. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. On second and 11 now, Roethlisberger. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. On third down, here's Samuels. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. Well, as an offense, you know, some drives you have it, some drives you don't. And this one looks like a you don't. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, it was third and long. It was screaming for a pass. I think they tried to outguess him there with the running play. They didn't pull him at all. Went in the wrong direction. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. On first down, Jack. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Free kick out of bounds, kicking team. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 40. He's going to launch it for Washington. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Well, why don't we hold off on the halftime update after all? Seems like everyone's ready to go here for the second half in week eight in the NFL. This is taken at its four. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. So now the Dolphins set to take over on offense. Their win streak at six coming in and counting as they've got the lead right now beginning this drive first and 10. Drake will start the drive on the ground. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. Well, Kenyon Drake, he was kind of underutilized last year when Adam Gase was head coach, only seven starts. But now he's going to get a chance under new head coach Brian Flores to really showcase his talent. He certainly flashed his diverse playmaking abilities a season ago. Nine touchdowns, five through the air, and four on the ground. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Throwing again. Back. And Stills bringing it in. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 29-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Back to throw now on second and 10. On the right side open is Gusecki. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 
That one good for 13 and a Dolphin first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Second and 11. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And here he'll get it down to the seventh. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Back to throw. Jack, the quick slant caught. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Devontae Parker with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season, as his guys continue to pour it on. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. This one taken just inside the 10. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half, two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, to something to get you off to a quick start. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. That's a big loss of three, brings up third down. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. A throw there, but that's gonna wind up incomplete. Uh, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. And we'll see what he can do on the return. Now, after the punt on that play, we've got a man down on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And last time out, another touchdown. And I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah. And this will be caught at the 30. It's a gain of 34. Let's go. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush. A lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for them. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Looking to throw. Jack. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. To throw again. Jack. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, no chance at all. Way easier said than done. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. 
So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit them, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was in high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level. You hit them, they go through. This will be taken in at the one. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you go over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can... jumped to an either an incompletion or an interception but not on that one everything came together and he catches it and goes over the sideline oh he's trying for smith schuster but it's intercepted picked off by bobby mccain and he will score touchdown miami this D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that will extend this big lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game. And they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? so tough because we always talk about it being a team game and you need all 11 working well together but every now and then partner you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things and i think that's what they're looking for right now yeah you talk about going to your playmakers they probably need to do it find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. The man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before. Almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, it really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. On second and ten. Roethlisberger. Des Bryant, the intended receiver. But now it'll be third down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little oh off on that throw. But well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. On first down, it's Samuels. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Staying on the ground with Samuels. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports.
And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From midfield now, here's Roethlisberger. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here. You've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. Here's Jordan Berry now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And now a high kick, but he hit it straight up. This is taken at the 18. 34 yards on the return. But for a moment, looked like he had a shot to go all the way. And the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position, first and 10. And uh, now let's talk about Kenyon Drake. And he's found the end zone twice, and now I'm guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the defensive perspective, how is he getting... Ready, ready! 10 2 It's our time. It's our time, guys. It's our time. Now. On first down, Drake. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. The last run got six, now second four. Check, check. Fresno, blue draw Corkers. Now the former fourth round pick, it's Kalen Balage. And he'll get it down on the plate of the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw. Jack. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. And the Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. Off the play fake. Jack. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Well, that'll get him the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. They'll run on first down. It's Drake, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Off the bootleg, Jack. Wilson's got it complete. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Albert Wilson. His third touchdown now on the year as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. There's no doubt in my mind. And do you hear that? Do you hear the... It, it's not scales, right? I don't hear scales. Do I actually hear a tune I being think, warbled? I think the fat lady's humming. Yeah, she's doing more than humming. She's, she's belting it out she's right going. now. She's full bore. Yeah, this thing is flat out finished. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. 
Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. After the sack on first down, Roethlisberger. Eric Rowe that time able to knock that pass away. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. He's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And he fields it cleanly. A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards all told. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Call that a very strong gain of 24. For 60 Pittsburgh. On first down, Drake. A gain of three, second down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. It's complete, Stills. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Brandon, remind me again, this is a rookie quarterback we're seeing? A rookie indeed. I mean, because my eyes are telling me something I'm having trouble believing. Five touchdown passes. He's thrown five in this game. Are you kidding me? Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead will swell by one more. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Able to find Switzer. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. The Steelers able to pick up 18 yards there. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. 
I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league, totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. Well, sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're doing on the ball as well. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate. Fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Dolphins offense now heads back on the field. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself. You still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Miami, their winning ways continue as they get it up to 7-0. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Steelers, they dip to 2-5 and five now with the loss. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I, 